Hi boys and girls. Today we are going to be working on a book. Now we're going to work on this book for the next three days in Nova. Okay, this is going to be a different book than the book we're going to work on when you meet with me in our small group classes. And I know you can hear I'm losing my voice, so I'll do my best to sound loud enough for this video. All right, when you're working with me in our lessons next or for this week, we're going to be working on the life cycle of a frog. But in Nova, you're going to be focusing on the life cycle of a butterfly because all living things have a life cycle, just like we learned the last couple of weeks with the life cycle of plants. So think about it. If we're going to write a book about the life cycle of a butterfly, what would a good title be? Pause the video if you need to and discuss it with your learning coach. I'm glad you're back. One example of a title could be the life cycle of a butterfly or a butterfly life cycle. Anything you want to write for your title is fine as long as it makes sense with what we're going to be teaching our reader about. Remember, this is an informative book. So you can see that I'm writing a butterfly life cycle. Oh, I made a little mistake there. A butterfly life cycle. Now, you can certainly pause the video and work on the title, okay? So you're going to write this title or write a title that you think would be appropriate. Now, learning coaches, if your child is able to write on their own, please encourage them to do so. If they need a little bit of support stretching out sounds or finding the beginning sound, go ahead and help them with that as well. And if your child is still learning how to form letters or really struggles with forming letters, you can write this with a yellow highlighter and have them trace over it. So really learning coaches, it's up to you to determine how much support your student might need for this assignment. Now, at the bottom, boys and girls, you're gonna write your first and last name. Make sure you leave a space in between, start with an uppercase letter, make the rest lowercase. The rest of the book is really going to be up to you. But what I want you to remember in this video is that butterflies start as eggs, right? And if you think about that song that you've been listening to from Jack Hartman, you might even remember this part of it. So butterfly, egg, caterpillar, chrysalis. Sorry, butterfly, egg, caterpillar, chrysalis. So those four terms I would expect to see in your book. But for the front cover, you really get to decide what you want it to look like. For me, I think I, think I might draw a butterfly. That's the wrong shape. I think I might draw a butterfly for my front cover. And you can make this as easy or as hard as you like. You could even, if you want, Google one of the Art for Learning Hub butterfly drawings and use that. It's really entirely up to you what you want your front cover to look like. But I'm going to give you a little example in case you want to draw a butterfly like me. Maybe you would even want to draw the life cycle on the front cover. That is, again, totally up to you. One thing when you're drawing butterflies is they're symmetrical. That means they look the same on both sides. So I'm going to make sure that its wings match on both sides. Boys and girls, you do not have to draw this picture. I want you to be creative as always. Now, we've worked really hard on the front cover of our book, and we're just going to get started with the first page. Now, tomorrow you can work on the second page and then the third day of Nova Lessons this week, I would like you to work on the third page so that by the end of this week, you have a complete 
book. All right, let's go to the first page today. Remember, we have to write in the number one so that we're, we know we're on the first page. Now let's think about it. Butterfly, egg, caterpillar, chrysalis. Butterfly, egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, right? So the first step in the life cycle, if we think about all the stories that we've read, is that there is an egg. Now I'm going to make sure that my egg is green because I or my my leaf is green because I want my egg to lay on a leaf. Kind of like the very hungry caterpillar that we read about. You don't have to do that. You can go ahead and make it whatever you like. Um, I think I might have to make mine a little gray because I won't see a white leaf on this. All right, so, I mean a white egg. So I have an egg on my leaf. You can make this however you like, but one word that I would expect to see is a label that says egg. Okay, that label that says egg is really important. So eh, eh, what letter is at the beginning of, of eh, eh, what letter makes the eh, eh sound? Right, so you're going to write E, and then egg has two Gs. Now, you can complete your own sentence. You might even be able to tell us more about the life cycle of a butterfly. But this is one thing that I might expect to see on your book, right? Because it goes egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly. So you could even start with the word first if you want to, or if you're still working with just your sight words, you could write the sight word sentence, I see a egg. All right, this is it for today, boys and girls. And then tomorrow we'll continue working on our book. Remember, I want you to write as much as you can. Push yourself to do your best. Keep up the great work.